I team this card tech. Um, more like a assignment day than a day three. So what I'm going to do is focus on this document. All right. This is an assignment. Um, day. Um, before day three because I won't be able to do a complete live class today team. I have a hard stop in the next few minutes. So I just want to make sure that um, I give you the assignments. I guide you to as to what we want to be doing. So this is the first assignment team and a lot of you have worked on it. <clears throat> okay, and if you have not completed it, then please do. Now for doing this, put your assignments in your individual Google Drive folder. All right. So whatever you're doing is part assignments. Put them there so I can go and review the team. We can see what's happening as part of your certification. What's wrong here? Innovative at least. OK, I want a space here. Now this is my assignment one. There are two more assignments team that you have. OK, and both of them are pretty much uh, easy. And you should be able to do them at your end independently. Uh, and these are necessary for us to move forward. The first is to install or rather add on Selenium IDE and Catalon Studio to your Chrome browser. So team, this instruction is going to be pretty much simple and straightforward. I will show you how to do it. I want you all to install them onto your machine. Then what you do is create a new test and execute. Um, create a new test and execute. Um, using the record and run method. I'm sure this you may face challenges and that is what we will discuss in day three team. So we're actually doing assignments instead of day three right now. Once you do it, save as tests. Some are called as test projects or a scenario and so on. I will show you how and when team and upload into your Goop G drive folder. OK. This is your assignment number two. How you do it is very simple team. So you just have to Google. That's the easiest Selenium. IDE for Chrome. All right. It will take you to the application store where you can add on this to your um, browser itself team. So open your Chrome browser. Click on Selenium IDE Chrome Web Store. And out here, you should be able to add it directly to your Chrome browser team. That's all that is. OK, I'm going to put a link here and see if this gives it always. No, it doesn't. So go search on Google and do it. The other way is you could also click on these three dots on your Chrome browser. Go to more tools and say developer tools. No, not here. <laughs> what am I doing? Go to settings. No, not even in settings. Let's see. Let's click and it should be definitely more tools extensions. There you go. So it sits as an extension to your browser. So you can search for let's say Selenium ID here. OK, and that comes up the same way you add Catalan ID E team. All right, Catalon Studio actually it's not called IDE, Catalon Recorder. <clears throat> All right, now once you've added these things, you will see them as simple icons on your browser. Okay, I believe you can also go and look at all the tools that you have from your extensions the way I did right now. To be able to work on them, you just have to start the Selenium IDE. Say that record a new test in a new project. Give it a name. Right now we're working on Glassdoor. So I'll just call it as GD. Say OK. And I'm going to go and ask it to open Glassdoor.com. Maybe it wants a HTTP 
I don't know if it's an S or not at the beginning, uh, but it's kind of accepted and I can start recording. So it should launch and take us to that browser application. Now do note team that right now it is in a responsive mode. So make sure that your browser expands so that all elements are visible like in a typical mode. OK, at this point, this is a UI for Selenium IDE. It has the basic interface. We will do a very deep dive in day three and we will master the art of writing our own tests here instead of doing a record and run. At this point, <clears throat> this red blinking icon says that it is currently recording. Whatever I do on this application should keep getting updated here. So let us see if any kind of a steps get captured while we make our actions. So I'm going to click on salaries. So there are about three steps that are put in here to click on salaries. And let us say I say out here QA engineer. Okay. And I hit a tab and here I'm going to say um, San Jose. California US click this. And. Search now primarily this activity has been performed <clears throat> at this time. Now I could stop this test. I have not done a very comprehensive test team. I would actually right click and say verify these text to be there. OK, so these things will become important. So as of now, I'm just stopping the recording. It will ask us to stay with name. I'll say GD underscore Sal underscore TC 001. Exactly the way you have mentioned it in your test case. Whatever you have said, execute it, record it and put them in your project. So this is one test case under the same project. We can add more. Consider this projects like modules that we were talking about so far team. OK. Now what I could do is run the same test and see how it has executed before I do that. I'm going to lower that execution speed. Otherwise it's going to be super fast and run this test case. So it is going to now take control of the browser and perform all the steps that we do. Uh, it will try to at least and that is the beginning of automation team now. Isn't this sufficient? Not at all. It is the very, very beginning level of automation not used anywhere. But what happens is definitely the fact that it is a, the only starting point unless we understand how these two tools and talk to each other and work with each other. We really can't proceed further. So that was your Selenium ID record. If it fails, don't matter. Just play around. Get till here team. All of you. OK, now let's look at Catalan as well. Very similar looking to Selenium. It will have its tests out here and I've recorded a few tests earlier. You have a record here and you can then go to the application. And while you're doing this, I'm assuming that this record should be able to take. I don't know where it's recording from, but let's say salary is the same thing. So it's giving us an input saying that it is doing that QA engineer. So it's recording it on the same test out here. OK, so maybe you open a new test. So stop new test case. I'll say GD underscore Sal underscore TC 001. All right, and let's record. Let's go to glassdoor.com. Mm -hmm. OK, uh, same thing. See QA engineer. And then we're looking at salaries. I've done a little differently out here. But that shouldn't matter. In fact, we will be encouraged to do things very differently team. So this is how it is right now coming up and I can stop this test. I can control the speed out here from not too fast to slow and play this test. So very similar. They will try and execute uh, things in a similar fashion team. So as it executes, it tells us if a step executed or not and so on. And then you can save them. So save them and put them. They will get saved as different file formats, uh, simple formats. Usually you put them back into your Google Drive. That's your assignment team. All right. Where are we here? OK, now. Um, Selenium and install add on Selenium. They are available. Under what was their project extensions right now? More tools extensions. 
under more tools extensions okay i'm providing as much information as you need so you can look um, do it this thing you can do it on a firefox browser also don't worry about it but first do it on one browser team let that cycle happen then we can worry about the other browsers what about the assignment number three this is going to be even more easier you're going to sign up for a free any orange account because you all will be showcasing some of the project work later we will finish selenium ide catalon studio and then go to uh any art okay team so how do you do that portion now that's going to be pretty much easier so once you go to any .com team click on join us you will be taken to the any orange sign up page each of you can use this to sign up to the any orange for a free version just enter your basic information once you do that you can then go back and log in in the login you'll see your username password very simple as you'll see with typical applications and then <clears throat> log in to see your dashboard okay now out here everything will be empty except for built-in only bik will show 66 and that knowing what this built-in keywords is what will spend a lot of time towards automation team in here you have your test plan test run setup test run and results then four main categories or tabs in the test setup is where we write the details so when we come back the assignment three will be to actually go through this so once you do this we will complete write a simple test case now again you have to put all of these this you can just you know take screenshots and place them in your assignment folder all right these are the things team i have another five minutes before i kind of have to really jump i'm gonna put this in the chat and have you all kindly work on them please any questions meanwhile anyone having an issue with audio so far i think most of you were uh, able to hear me fine and saw all the instructions whatever you've missed through the live session even if you have these steps you should be able to do them all right uh, so there's one question hello sir how can i share my worksheet so let me put this question here i'll just take this question Number one team, uh, all of you should try and put questions in the FAQ. I'll update them. Uh, on Google Drive, I've never worked using Google. Can you please show how I can? Sure. So you go to your Google Drive. So once you log into your Gmail, you'll see these icons where you can click on and come to your Google Drive. Once you come to your Google Drive, click on plus new and create your folder. And say, my name is KK. This is AACT uh, uh, Training. Let's say November 2018. Once you create this folder, go inside this folder. If you have documents like Word doc and Google Sheets type looking, you can create them here. If you have them on your more local machine, you can upload them as well. So try and create them all. So all the members have been creating and have been sharing the link over the chat for me to review. I have not yet started getting the individual links now once i see this i will have individual access link so you can share this link by clicking the way i did and say edit or view copy that link and share it with us okay or you can put our details here and we will be able to see it um, as well now we will come to that in day three but at least get your folders created and start putting assignments in their team everyone okay 
no skill in any or testing no problem no skill on selenium id or catalon studio no problem uh, what i want you to do is be very uh, how do i say let me remove this first on the highlights <coughs> look at it as a very simple applications non-complicated both are to do something on your browsers you should be able to easily come up till this extent okay and from there how do we go next we will discuss any last questions before i sign out please little off from the topic regarding jpac i have one question shipra please go ahead put it up in the chat let me see if i can answer it Nguyen Marius, welcome. You're the first, I mean, you're here for the first time. So right now, team, where are we? We've completed two days training. Now we're doing assignment day before day three, which will be tomorrow, Friday. Friday, 2nd November for us. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice one. All right. I will definitely try and be more patient, team. I'm definitely working on that to be more and more as much um, as the team requires. One thing that I really emphasize is for you all to focus from your side and put the same hard work especially the way you communicate the way you're writing organizing things everything so put your hard work there i'll take you through very slowly all right i hope i've been patient enough so far team i mean going at a decent pace for all if i miss previous how can i check those you have to go to itln.com all the videos are there and you'll also you also keep getting emails on this Thank you, Syed. Uh, hi, Karthik. For Selenium live training, basic advance, can we also have evening batch, please, as I currently working as functional QA? Sure, I'm going to do both team, morning and evening. See, I'll be there for both so that at least, you know, we do the topic and I'm there for Q&A like I'm doing currently. So even yesterday, we did the repeat and then I did the Q&A with them, reviewed their exercises for the evening batch. Will you review our assignments? Yes, I want to review as much as my humanly possible. I want you also, also to participate and help review. So do peer reviews. We'll also start looking at team distributions from tomorrow team. How do we get into the team so we can start um, assigning projects? Shipra, I'm not sure on the promo code and so on, um, but I think it should still be valid. Please give it a try. It shouldn't be a problem, I think. I don't know when was the last day. I think it was 31st October, right? for the sale that was given so sorry about that um but try it i'm sure uh, it didn't work is it I, i'll check i'll check with the team and see if, what they can do if they can send something out um today so there's one more question i think i joined today and want to tell the team that just by watching manual testing videos from the last jpac session i scored a job at amazon wow cool mm. that's great um i'll just put this message as is if you don't mind Shirley. thank you I think fundamentals, once we have it, it's really good. I'm definitely up for it. And manual testing videos is a combination of what I'm doing team and the ISTQB videos that Shankar is doing. So together collectively will be the total learning for you. So what we are doing is a great introductory. It is not going totally in depth into those detailed concepts. Shankar's videos will take you there what screenshots are you expecting so basically see if once you go to anyart.com here let us say you create it just take a dashboard screenshot for example that i've created so many tests and so on uh, otherwise you have to log in and show me every day or you have to share the credentials where we have to log in that's the reason got it so take a screenshot of this take a snipping tool say new select what you want and then if you want you can highlight that you know what i have a problem around here save it and send and put it into your google drive okay don't send anything or email team put it into your drive manage your drive you have to sign into any .com. that's correct you have to sign up and then sign in okay i'm losing time team i have a very large um, i mean client demos and meetings organized this week so that's why we are going through a lot of preparation work. I need to be joining back my team on Skype shortly. So I thought I'll quickly give you these assignments and uh, guide you with questions. I am 
having a few more questions i think i'm going to take it for three four more minutes and then go up will you give, give us email where i can share my assignment nope i have given instructions you put it into your google drive why are we asking the same questions again team please follow instructions imagine and remember the same thing will happen a long email will come to you and from a client you don't want to go back and ask the same basic questions ask intelligent smart questions team it can be done you can think through questions and get your answers and when you have a chance to ask a question let it be phenomenally good that's how i typically do it team but technical challenges during the live session anything please keep letting me know hmm. thank you so much chaitanya um very kind words i'm not going to put it up here it looks too much marketing so i don't <laughs> want to do that but thank you um you know for q and automation i'm sure um, i've really inspired a lot of individuals like yourself so uh i think we're good pretty much easier thing don't think that oh no class let me do it later in the day put half an hour team right away do not delay do not procrastinate that is one thing that will really you know i believe that i should change as well a lot do it when you get a chance so these are the three assignments please continue to work on it if you want um, i don't know how many people are going to join live so i'm going to put this message here please work on the below right now okay and i'm also going to put this into red what why can't you edit faq faq should be editable by everyone right this one should be editable by everyone let me give the sheet link again okay hmm. sometimes you really feel you have more time not that we could have done something earlier uh, had we planned better but a lot of times you just have to perform at that time and there we go a lot of questions i hear a lot of questions i hear i'm putting the faq link once again team All the links I've luckily put them in. I think day one. Yeah, in your manual testing FAQ link is the shared same one. Yep, it's the same one. So I'm gonna copy paste this too. So you have these, and then came the assignments document. Assignments. Any last question team while I'm just put copy pasting the assignments link here. So I'm going to share this as well. Copy the link can not edit. You can only view. Okay. Copy link done. This is not looking good in this color. I'm going to make it. Yeah. So this I'm going to freeze it here. And I think we've taken these questions. And go back here put it up here cool I think we've got all links getting generated here team all right team everyone good so far how to access to the Google Drive you create your own Google Drive you you then share it with me later okay for now all the links that I have to my Google Drive I'm sharing them individually because some you can edit some you don't have to edit Running notes and all you have to take team and I'm not sure how many of you are actually taking notes on the sessions Are you taking notes everyone? We have to combine them if you're not doing it I'm not going to certify your team as a group. We have to combine the notes. It is mutually very very beneficial team I'll talk about that tomorrow All right All right, thank you everyone. That's it from my side for now. Take care. Uh, we'll see you back tomorrow. Bye everyone I'm gonna keep this active this specific thing so everyone can see and stop the recording and go off the session uh pavan you're there right so i'm going to log off because i need to log into the other meeting and let you be there on this okay all right i'm just leaving the screen as is um i think i can leave the screen as is this is pausing so now okay let's make it 
<laughs> I take so much time for basics. 125, okay. So team, this is all the team has to see. Um, all right, everyone, we'll see you back tomorrow then. Thank you so much. Bye now. You can log off. You're welcome to log off and do it offline. All right, I'm just leaving this on so whoever's joining in late can look at it. Thank you. Uh, team, sorry, last question. It's asking for company name. So any odd sign in is asking for company name and use Vercasa Inc. All right. And designation, let's say intern, Q intern. Send to all. All right. Thank you. Bye now. Take care.